You must be someone's pet rock. Hmm. What's a pet rock? It just means somebody in the White House is looking out for you. It doesn't feel like it. Confidential assistant to the assistant secretary, and you're so young. I'm about to turn 23. That's not young. Not to me. Oh, God, of course not. Look at you. You have the life experience of a zygote. <laughs> Just know not a few people in that office covet your job. Ugh, well, they can have it. I'm going back in a few months. To the White House? Not like it was my idea. Why did they transfer you? Oh. I don't know. It's a whole thing. I just wish I brought from home. Weight Watchers makes these amazing meals you can microwave. Oh, I have seen those at Safeway. They're low fat, so you don't want to kill yourself oh, later. Oh, you need to worry. Are you kidding You're me? You're gorgeous. Ah, uh, not in Beverly Hills. In second grade, they called me Big Mac. My high school, they called me Gus. Gus? <laughs> Why? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody ever explained. Well. Um. Jokes on them, Linda. Look at us, we're on top of the world. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I cried myself to sleep every night this week. I don't want to be here. No one wants to be here. But listen, if I can put on my wisdom hat. You said this was temporary. You know, I can tell you're very bright. So bright I got myself exiled. Temporarily. You can endure anything knowing it has an end. I know there's nowhere like the West Wing. Believe me. I know. Where were you when you were there? My last stop was the council's office. We touched everything at a very high level. I was the last person to see Vince Foster alive. Oh, wow. Before that, during Bush, I was on a desk right outside the Oval. Why was I sent to the council's office? Well, back in 93, I was very trim. I have reason to believe that Hillary didn't want me near the president, if you know what I mean. Of course, nothing was worse than the day I was sent here, stabbed in the back by a fair-weather friend. I won't say more. <laughs> Sounds awful. It was. It was. Loyalty is very important to me. Fair weather or not, I miss having friends in Washington. Mm. Most of my intern class left town when they weren't hired, and D.C. gets lonely fast. Well, now you and I can be miserable together. <laughs> Although, I have to say, you're such a knockout. I just assumed you'd be dating some big D.C. player. Uh, what? Uh, I'm not dating. Why not? I'm kind of in something. And yet you feel lonely. Yes, affirmative. Well, that's no good. Tell me about him. It's, uh... It's just he's, um, unavailable. Someone long distance. Someone from work. Someone important. Is that why they sent you here?